Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Self Made. I'm Colt Joseph. We're talking about Terra Luna today. Terra Luna snapshot is going to happen two days, the 26th. So today the snapshot is happening and tomorrow is when the airdrop's supposed to happen. So if you do not have your coins currently in Terra wallet, you need to immediately switch them out of MetaMask, switch them out of Trust Wallet, switch them out of you know DeFi wallet, or if you have them on an exchange, like it is just not a good idea to keep your coins in an exchange. It says specifically on Terra Station that you need to transfer all of your wrapped Luna into regular traditional Luna, and it must be on the Terra chain, the Terra blockchain in the Terra wallet, okay? That is where you need to put all of your coins to be able to receive the airdrop. It's as simple as that. You know, there's a chance you'll still get them if you're in MetaMask or if you're in a couple of other wallets and stuff. Like if you have them staked, you know, we'll see what actually happens with that. But honestly, why take the chance when you can just transfer all your coins over to the Terra wallet and know for sure you're gonna get the airdrop. If you guys don't know how to switch your crypto out of like Ethereum or Binance over to the Terra chain and get it into the Terra wallet, I'll show you how to do it right here. It's super simple. Say you're in your wallet, this is MetaMask and you have your Luna coins, what you need to do is you need to go to Google, type in Terra Bridge, and then it'll be the first one pops up, or bridge.terra.money is the actual URL. It'll bring you here, and then we just need to pick our asset, which Luna or UST, whatever one you're doing. Um, then go up here, Shuttle is for Binance, Wormhole is for Ethereum. So if your coins don't show up, when you try to like max it out and there's zero, but you do have coins in there, you might be on the wrong one, so remember that and then your destination address. You need to make a Terra Station wallet on the Terra blockchain. It's also an extension on Google Chrome, so that's an option as well. What you need to do is you need to go into your Terra wallet and then copy your wallet address and then come over and paste that into Terra Bridge. Then just go ahead and confirm the transaction. It'll go ahead and bridge it over to the Terra blockchain and then you will receive it in your Terra Station wallet like you see here. So if you want the absolute best chance possible of getting your coins, like a guarantee of getting your coins, from the airdrop, from the Terra Luna airdrop to Terra 2.0. Terra, the Terra we currently have right here is Terra Classic. The next blockchain, it's actually an entirely new blockchain. It's not a fork of the original Terra Luna. This will no longer be called Terra Luna. It will be called Luna Classic. And then the new coin, Luna 2.0 is what we're calling it. I think it's just Luna. You have to have your coins in the Terra station. That's how you're gonna get the airdrop. And uh, it's free money. You're gonna be locked in for the first two years on 70% of your coins, 30% of your coins that you get from the airdrop, you, you will be able to pull out, but 70% of them are being locked in for two years, unless you hold over a certain amount of coins, and then it goes to four years, like the whales, people have a lot of money in here. They have to hold for four years, which is gonna, it's gonna create an amazing floor. Like the floor is not gonna drop because there's gonna be all of these people holding the airdrop for a mandatory two years. That's gonna create such a nice floor for Terra 2.0 that it's gonna, it's gonna blow up. I guarantee there's so there's so much hype behind this right now. So much hype. This has been talked about more than anything and for the last week straight. It's all over the world. It's such a high profile thing. And this new coin coming out, people know for a fact that they're gonna be able to make money in it because all the hype around it, plus all the people that lost money, a lot of them think are thinking that this is a possible way for them to get their money back, buying into this coin as it's coming out on this blockchain. And the blockchain blows up just like it probably will, let's be honest, because of how big Terra Luna was and how big that whole community is, how strong they are. The coin's gonna do well. It's gonna do very well. Now, we don't know the current price of the new coin. There's a lot of estimations. Uh, it's Depending on what price it is and how many we get, you know, we might get a nice little bag depending on how many you currently hold, if you hold Terra Luna at all. You know, it's definitely not the safest coin to hold, but a lot of us do. You know, I do. I hold a decent amount. If you bought before UST depegged, you're getting the airdrop. And also, if you bought after it depegged, you're also getting the airdrop. I think you're getting a smaller amount. Plus, you're getting 10% allocation if you're holding Terra, oh, Terra, Luna, and then 15% if you're holding UST. So maybe you want to might want to switch your coins from Terra Luna into UST. But then again, I don't know if they're re rewarding the same amount of coins. If you're holding for like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it's the exact same, like you're holding this many UST, so you get this many coins as Terra Luna's, how many you have to the ratio of how many coins they give you. I don't know if that's different. So maybe not, maybe you should do the math on that, figure out which one you're gonna get the most of the airdrop out of, because the more coins of Terra 2.0 we get, the better it's gonna be. So Terra 2.0 is almost here. It's literally the 26th right now. 27th is when it's supposed to come out, When is when the blockchain is supposed to be put out. Doquan's been all over Twitter raving about it. Binance is putting it on, their freaking trading platform 
FTX is putting it on their trading platform. Dude, so many, so many. All the all of the big platforms, for the most part, are supporting Terra 2.0 and putting it on their marketplace, on their trading apps. So it's gonna it's it's gonna be widely available to so many people. It's gonna do big numbers. I I, I can almost guarantee it. But you never know because crypto's wild. Crypto's very wild. So. Yeah, uh, definitely have your coins in your Terra wallets. It's what you need to do. Now let's look at the research really quick. Go over here to governance, and then we go to uh, past Terra Builders Alliance Rebirth Terra Network. Let's, let's just take a look at this real quick. Okay, yeah, look, this is what I was talking about. Please be aware that due to technical constraints, it is not possible to include all UST and Luna holdings on Terra and other chains in the snapshot mentioned. Assets that may not be included. UST or Luna bridged off of Terra. This is why we want it on the Terra chain. Users with bridged UST or Luna who would like to be included on the post-attack snapshot need to bridge back to Terra before the snapshot is taken. This is why we have to bridge over. It's literally, they're telling you right here. UST or Luna on Terra protocols that cannot easily be identified, which means like if you have your coins in uh, a, an app somewhere like staked in the Terra chain, you know, it may not be able to be easily identified. They may not get accredited for the snapshot. You never know, okay? All protocols listed on DeFi Llama here at that link will be covered in addition to a few others that are known. Let's take a look at this so you guys know. If you, anybody watching this, if you have, apparently if you're on any one of these, you're gonna be perfectly fine. If your money's on these, on the Terra chain, like stake somewhere or something, you will get credited for the snapshot. So if you see the program that you're worried about on there, you'll be fine. Pre-attack Luna holders distribution. For all holders with the snapshot balance of 10K Luna or less, 30% unlocked at Genesis, 70% vested over two years. Post-attack UST holders distribution, it goes from 20% to 15%. So we're still getting a pretty good amount, even if you bought after it depegged from the US dollar. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that the snapshot is about to happen. It's apparently supposed to happen on the 26th as early as 9.30 a.m. Uh, universal time. Try to get your coins on the Terra Station, on the Terra Wallet before then, so you get your free crypto, your airdrop. You deserve that shit, okay? I don't want you guys to miss out on that. That would suck, because a lot of people lost a lot of money, and they have they deserve the chance to earn some back. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Hate it or love it, Terra 2.0 is right around the corner, so be ready for it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.